I don't buy new cars, I don't buy brand names, I go to Goodwill for my clothes. I like to save money, I like to find bargains, it's the life I chose. I throw nothing away, I'll find a use another day for all this junk I keep. My neighbors all hate me, they abuse and berate me, cause I like doing it cheap. Yeah, I like doing it cheap. Welcome to another episode of Doing It Cheap. Well, how y'all done? Boy, I tell you what, it's a whole lot easier to make a video if that little red light is on. <laughs> I done run my mouth for 10 minutes and then the camera shut off and I said, what the hell? I put the memory card in there and says, you didn't record nothing. Boy, howdy. Well, that's all right. That helps me weed out some stuff I didn't need to say no way. Um, what today's video is about is uh, I want to show you very quickly three different wines I'm making. Have a little bit of a coffee chat, shooting a breeze for a little bit. Uh, let you know what's happening, what's going on on my end. My dogs are eating good. Uh, I've run out of dog food here at the house and I ain't been to the farm in about a week because I gave my chickens away last week. And uh, there are cases of dog foods there so I've been taking cans of chicken that I bought at the Dollar Tree and making them a big old pan of chicken gravy. Gravy with chicken in it and you know, a little bit of lard and putting that over bread and they've been licking them chops let me tell you. And then for supper I give them some pancakes a little bit of syrup. Yeah they're spoiled. They're spoiled rotten. Anyhow when I was down in Florida I was at this uh, place where they make or where they sell wine making and beer making products or supplies and uh, uh, oh speaking of that right quick somebody's getting all hung up because they didn't have the right jugs or whatever glass jugs you don't need glass jugs use a two liter or three liter Sprite or Coca-Cola bottle or something like that you know just something that it's alright to drink out of uh, anyway back to what I was saying uh, I was talking to a lady down there and this is where I learned that you could use any kind of juice because I, I asked her, I says, can you make wine with orange juice? She said, of course you can. And I'm like, well I thought maybe the citrus, the acid, the citric acid would, you know, not work. So, oh no, you make, you make it, ain't no problem, any juice, you know, any pure juice. I got thinking about that and I thought, tomato juice. I don't know if I'd care to make tomato wine. You know, that's got a lot of a, a, a real sweet tomato wine. I don't really know if I'd like it, but I said, you know what? I'd like some. I'd like to try orange. Well, I get online and I start searching for orange juice. And did you know there ain't nobody out there hardly making no orange juice wine? They call some other kind of white wines with an orange flavor orange wine but there ain't nobody actually making wine out of orange juice well I am right here and just for shits and giggles to show y'all I did have my wife pick up some balloons at the Dollar Tree to show you you know how that gas does now you can take a sewing needle or a straight pin and you poke a hole and that uh and that balloon right there let me zoom in on that and you can poke your hole in that balloon right there and if you poke a tiny little hole it will let the gas escape but it won't let the bugs get in so a lot of people like to use a balloon but what I wanted to show you was so cool. I, can't, 
I got all excited when I see this. Oh boy. <laughs> Let me see if it'll focus. See all them bubbles? And I started that 12 hours ago. So, it, you know, it, it took to working right off. But now that wine, that juice is got a lot of pulp in it. So that's gonna be interesting. Don't know if I'm gonna drink it with the pulp or not. Probably will, I don't give a shit. If it tastes good, drink it. And uh, while I, after going to Aldi, I went ahead and picked up some pomegranate plum and some black cherry plum and I'm gonna make them two wine wines right there I'm gonna make wine out of them and when I when I made the uh, oh which one was it oh when I made the apple wine when I made that apple wine I uh, I didn't have a, a bottle with a screw on cap and I didn't have no balloons somebody commented was that a yellowtail wine bottle yes it was this is a cheap Walmart wine oak leaf vineyards Merlot but uh, I didn't have anything to put over the top so I took a tall shot glass and set it right over the top my golly that'll work That'll let gases out and won't let no bugs climb in there. I'm going to try that. I mean, what the hell? What have I got to lose? So I'm going to make up this pomegranate plum and this black cherry plum. And the excess, I'm going to pour in here. All right. Well, I'm going to make this wine up real quick. And maybe I can think of something to say. And maybe I, maybe I can't. Maybe I just covered up music. I can't wait to taste that orange wine. Oh, that's gonna be good. That is, that right there is two cups of sugar. And this is two quarts of juice. So remember I use a, I use a cup of sugar per liter or per quart. I use a cup of sugar. Gonna put me a little bit of yeast in there. And that's all there is to it. Stir it up, put it back in the bottle. I hope y'all, if you like wine, I hope you'll try some of this. This ain't hard to do. And uh sure beats buying it. The neat thing about it is. Once you stumble across a recipe you like, you won't never buy no store-bought wine no more. You'll be saying, why in the hell should I pay that much for a bottle of wine? I mean, uh, seven hundred and fifty milliliter. That's only three quarters of a liter of a liter. So you're talking about two, almost three bottles of wine out of this one batch. And shoot, you're talking about less than three. You're talking about less than a dollar for a bottle of wine. Shoot, you can't get no better than that. My sugar. I bought me a whole case of sugars, five pound bags, and a. The bags had gotten damp and the sugar had solidified. Didn't bother me none. I just pushed it loose and said I'll dissolve it and be done with it. Got it for 50 cents a bag. Alright. Oh, 
Let me get that funnel. That'll be enough head space. Alright, that's the black cherry plum. And I'm gonna mix that. Well, I'm gonna put I'm gonna put that in a bottle and then I'm gonna put the excess pomegranate plum right on top of it. What the heck? The pomegranate black cherry plum. made us up that much right there so the excess all of that ought to bring us right on up to there okay two cups of sugar two quarts of juice I'm excited about this orange juice wine. That's what man, I'm, you know, I'm curious, is it going to taste like a screwdriver? You know? Orange juice and vodka? I don't know. We'll find out. This is pomegranate plum. Now, even though these say 100% juice, these have been reconst reconstituted from, from concentrate. And uh, some of them had ascorbic acid added to it, which is vitamin C, which according to some winemakers say it ain't supposed to matter. And hell, we'll find out. Anyway, y'all better set your watch because in three weeks we're going to have us a wine tasted for sure. Woo -wee. Today is the 30th day of January. So we'll be watching around the 21st of February. 20th, 21st, thereabouts. My apple wine is working. My Welch's grape wine is working. Orange juice wine is working. All carried away with that. Oh well, it's got too much in it. There, I took care of that. Oh my god! I'm gonna tell y'all what, if in three weeks that right there tastes as good as it does today, I'm gonna be a happy man. It's, it's delicious. 
This is pomegranate plum and black cherry plum mixed together. Gosh, was that tasty. I mean, sure enough tasty. Mm. It made me do a double backflip just tasting that stuff. And I ain't got no fancy thing to stick on that bottle, so we're just gonna stick a, a party balloon from Dollar Tree. Hell yeah, we party with that. Or, like I said, I did buy, I did buy, or I do have the shot glass. I'm just gonna stick that on there for now. I, like, I just like fooling with them. And, uh, Anyhow, folks, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid to experiment, you know? Don't be afraid to try something different, something, you know, new. Sometimes we just get in a rut, you know? And, and uh, I had an advertising professor when I was in college. He was from England, one of them big advertising agencies. And he said, that if you ever wanted to test market something, he said, you test market in Tennessee, not California. He said, California will embrace any new innovative idea there is. He said, but them Tennesseans are the most ornery, backwards, stuck to their opinion, not, not wanting to change, stubborn people, in the world. And if you can get somebody in Tennessee to like your product, if you test market your product in Tennessee and it's a hit, you'll sell it anywhere, anywhere in the world. But Tennesseans are the most resistant to change of anybody they've ever seen. And I thought that was interesting that they were discussing that in London, England about people in Tennessee. Well, anyway, don't want to bore you. I just wanted to just, uh, Feel you in on what's happening. Uh, uh, we got a little, like I said, we got a little cold weather here. I think the Idaho hillbilly Miss Kitty sent it down here. But by God, after he had my snow cream, it quit snowing, just like I told him it would. <laughs> anyway, y'all have a wonderful day and a better tomorrow. Bye.